Okay, so we got the question. We've got a worker. It's awesome. But what if we want to expand it and start outsourcing something that we're not good at? We don't know, like you suggested we do in the beginning. Or how do you go beyond one person? And how do you deal with the complexity as it, as it grows? So when, okay, so let's talk about going beyond one person. What I've, what I've found is often people are hesitant to hire one person because they don't know if they have enough to keep them busy. They don't know if they can do good work or if they can afford it, right? What they find is as you hire a full-time person and you start to transition away from being the grunt worker and towards being the CEO, you start to see a whole new world of like, oh, here's all of these things that we should be doing that this person's too busy to do all of this and now I need to hire someone else. The critical piece in this is figuring out, does this work for me? Because if it works once, it can work again. Um, I think there's some, some efficiency in, there's some efficiency to be had in like having done it once and setting up some systems of like project management and, and Jing or Snagit, um, using some communication tools, but uh, that, that will allow you to have the time for two. But then it really is just a matter of go back and find someone else. Or you may ask your current person, hey, who do you know who I can hire that has this skill set, right? Because often they'll know. If they know, it'll take them like a week to get back to you. Because I've seen this so many times where they're like, dude, if I'm gonna, re if I'm gonna recommend someone to my boss, I'm gonna make sure that they're legit. Oh, yep. You know, they do not wanna make a recommendation to you of someone who is not gonna work out. So just be prepared. If you ask them for this recommendation, it's gonna take them, it could take them a couple weeks. So, and then, okay. Perfect. Okay, so, so then moving on to how do you outsource something you don't know how to do? This is so much more difficult. Um, the, the most common situation is he, here is website. Like how do I, I don't know how to build a website. I need to outsource building a website, right? Which is fine to do. You just have to be prepared that this is going to be hard work on your part. You're not just gonna hire someone and say, build my website. Well, what do you want? I don't know, just build a website. I like that one, right? That doesn't work. So, and, and this is what I find myself doing now. Like this is, this is my job. My job is to think, to think through tasks and processes and, and big picture stuff. Think through the, all of it, think through the whole details of it and then create instructions for someone else of what they are to do. So I'm gonna hire someone who's really good at building websites but then I'm not going to leave any of the thinking to them of what the website should be. That's my job. I am to be the one to say like, no, this is what users actually need and want because these are my customers. These aren't this webmaster's customers, right? So then I will think through it and I'll go through with, uh, with Snagit. I'll create a video of like, here's what I want. Here's this website that I like. Here's how I want it to work. Um, here's this other thing that I, I like this and I want this put here on the website and I, and I want you to make this piece and here's how I want it to function. And I'll talk through all of that. And then, especially when you're working with technical people, often I find that people don't know, like they just don't realize. Like They oh, don't understand anything about marketing, user interface or whatnot. They just know how to build it. <laughs> yeah, right. So that's right. The, the worker doesn't know how to do it, doesn't know marketing, right? So if you leave that out and just expect them to do it, it's going to come out crappy, right? Yes. On the other side of it, what, what you don't know is like, hey, add this, this piece is really awesome that these guys have. I want you to build this. Well, what you just asked them to do is a year long project, but you think it's like a 15 minute thing. So this is something that like, Man, you got to communicate and be really clear. What do you think? How long do you think this would take to build? And then whatever they tell you, you double it. Um, and <laughs> yeah. That's always the case. And, and, and that way you at least, like I have a guy that he was like, oh, I want to clone this website. I think it should take like a month. I'm like, dude, that's a six month project. No way. Yes, it is. And then he, you know, I he thought built. I was going to record this course in one day. Yeah. It's been a year and a half. That is my ultimate failure of, right. of, of well, like, dude, <laughs> It seems so it easy. Is. I can just say it all in a day and share everything I know. <laughs> yeah. Um, so if you're going to hire someone you 
someone to do something you don't know how to do, number one, you're gonna hire someone who's good at it, right? Number two, you're gonna set your expectations such that, let's talk about a marketing process, for example, Facebook. Uh, Facebook marketing. Don't expect it to be done perfectly um, because, so this goes back to the Filipinos and their shyness and they're not wanting to disappoint you. If you're not giving them specifics, they worry that they're gonna do it wrong and you're gonna be disappointed in them. So uh, any positive feedback you can give, whether it's done how you thought or not, is really important. Also, recognize that a lot of things, just getting it done is more important than how it's done. And for me, I see like, dude, I'm not gonna do this thing. So whether it's crappily done or not done at all, it, crappily done is better than not done at all, especially when it comes to marketing. Like any marketing is good marketing, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so, so if it's not like the best thing ever, even though I th think I hired the best person ever, um, it's still better than not having it done, right? At least for me it is. So maybe some people don't feel that way. Uh, I'm trying to think, dude, hiring people to do stuff that you don't know how to do is hard. Like it's just. Yeah, that's what I've found. And the only times that it like, I guess for me personally, I want to hire them to teach me how it works and what they do. And then you can like guide them. Okay, so you know our goals now. Okay, you've, you've taught me how this fundamental SEO works. So, you know, here's what we got. You, you kind of like that interactive process with them uh, and not just, yeah, here, I hope you understand all my goals, values, and costs, and that you optimize and do it all. Like, probably but, not gonna happen. But, but there's a critical piece there that a lot of people miss in that you're investing in that person right there. By like, hey, here's what, here's my goals and here's how I think and here's, I want you to tell me about how this should work and what do you think and there's a lot of work that you're putting into that, that that Filipino will recognize and be like, oh yeah, he cares. He wants me to do this and he's gonna give me feedback and that's critical. So you want, you want to hire someone who doesn't, who, for something you don't know how to do, invest in them. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, that's a good tip. Do it. <laughs>